Do you know the fastest way to add 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 5 in your head? Keep watching to find out how. Hi, I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to begin our quest in getting really good at mental arithmetic and we're going to learn to crawl before we walk and we're going to do that by really working and practicing with single column addition. Now in order to do this and speed it up so that you can get good at it in your mind, there's two things that you need to remember. The number one thing is you're going to add the numbers as usual so we're not going to use any fancy tricks to actually add 7 plus 4 together. You're going to have to get good at it, have it on the tip of your tongue, but we're going to add the numbers as usual. And the second thing we're going to do is we're going to look for our complements, which we've learned how to do in the last section. And you're going to see here in just a second how that's going to really speed up the process. Okay, so here's a pretty easy arithmetic problem. 3 plus 4 plus 7. Now, I'm absolutely confident that everybody listening to this can actually do this problem, definitely on paper. and almost certainly in your head. But the way most people are going to tackle this is they're going to start at the top and then they're going to, they're going to look at 3 plus 4 is 7 and then 7 plus 7 you might have to think about that a little bit longer but then you'll come to the answer of 14 and that is the actual correct answer. Now this is pretty easy because there's three numbers in the problem and so most people can do addition of three of three numbers in their head without an issue but you know depending on the numbers that you have here you might have to think a little bit harder but most people are going to start at the top and work their way to the bottom I want you to not do that from now on whenever you look at a list of numbers or hear a list of numbers I want you to to look for complements and so what we're going to do is look at this again from a different point of view notice we have three and seven in this problem so immediately because we we know that three and seven are complements from our previous lesson and we've drilled that into our head we know that this makes ten three and seven make ten so putting a little mark here to remind ourselves those two add to ten so that's that's already ten and so you know that ten plus four is fourteen and that's the answer most people would agree that doing this is faster than doing three plus four is seven seven plus four is fourteen because especially when you get to a long list of numbers, if you can find pairs of numbers or even triplets of numbers that sum to 10 and mentally check them off in your little head, then you're going to eliminate most of the list of numbers doing something very easy and simple. But the key to it is knowing those complements, basically having them almost memorized. So let's look at another example. Uh, 2 plus 9 plus 8. Again, most people would do 2 plus 9 is 11, 11 plus 8 is 19, and that is the answer. That's true. But let me give you a moment to look at this and identify the complement. Well, you can see that 2 is a complement with 8, so that immediately sums to 10. 10 plus 9 is 19. And so you'll see how this is going to get faster. Now, from here on out, we're going to be using the exact same process, no matter how long the list of numbers is. It's just we're going to look for more and more pairs of numbers that make our complement. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to write the problem on the, on the uh, screen and then uh, I'm going to give you a moment to look at it. I encourage you to pause the video and try to identify the complements and get the answer that way and then when you're ready go ahead and press play and you can watch this section as many times as you need. Okay so here we have 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. Go ahead and take a look at it. Try to identify the complements and add it up that way. Alright so what we're going to see here is we notice we have a 6 and a 4 right there so that sums to 10 and I'm saying okay I've got 10 right there and I've got that's 15 and then that's 16 so here's the answer 16 so again I'm looking at these two I'm identifying 10 off the bat I'm looking at the plus 5 gives me the 15 plus the 1 gives me 16 okay here we have 2 plus 9 plus 8 plus 1 most people would start at the top and add up through the bottom but take a moment, pause the video, find your complements, and find this answer. Okay, so what we have here, notice that 2 and 8 are complements, so that makes 10 right away. Also notice that 9 and 1 
are also complements. So that makes 10. So the answer is 20. Now that's much faster than doing, okay, 2 plus 9 gives me 11. 11 plus 8 gives me 19. 19 plus 1 gives me 20. What we're looking is we're scanning the pattern, almost like you read a word in a book. You don't sound every letter out anymore. When you were a kid, you had to do that. But when you do math, you need to start to look at these lists of numbers and don't sound them out, so to speak, by adding them up top to bottom. Look for those complements because it's going to cut your computation time, you know, way, way down. Okay, now look at this problem. 4 plus 7 plus 1. Now, we don't have a pure complement here that we can really pick on to, to save ourselves some time, but we do notice that we have a 7 and a 4. And one thing that I do when I see something, I don't quite have a complement here. I know that 7 and 3 is a complement. That's going to give me 10. So I don't have a 3 here. I have a 4. So I'm going to have 1 left over. So I've got the 10 plus the 1 up here plus the 1 down here is going to give me 12. And you can do it any way you like, but you're going to find that, especially when the list of numbers gets really long, that is going to actually be much faster for you to look and say, well, I almost have a complement here, so I'll keep track of that as 10. I've got the one left over and the one here that gives me 12. Now here we have another problem, 6 plus 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 9. Pause the video, take a moment, and try to do this problem. Now what we see here right away is that we, we, we're looking for a complement. We don't see something right away, but I notice that if I take 6 and 2 and 2, all of that together makes a complement because 6 and 4 are complements, 2 plus 2 makes 4, and so all of this together is going to sum to 10, and that just comes off the tip of your tongue because you know that 6 and 4 are complements. And so you have 2 and 2 and that make 4. So mentally, I track all three of these first numbers as basically 10. And then I look at the rest of my problem and go from there. 10 plus the 9 gives me 19. I can do that very fast. 19 and 5 is going to give me the 24. And it saves you basically over half of the problem by doing it that way because you have three numbers you don't even have to worry about once you identify them as summing to 10. Okay, here we have 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6. Pause the video and figure out the answer. Okay, so the first thing you do is you start to scan for complements. We notice that 7 and 3 are complements, so that's going to be 10. We notice that 4 and 6 are complements, that's going to be 10, so we're up to 20. All we have left is 8, so we have 28. And I promise you, once you get good at knowing those complements, that is going to be much faster than taking 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 6 to get the answer. And the last thing I'm going to say before we do a few more problems here is when you're doing this in your head, I don't want you to sit there and use the word plus in your head. I don't want you to say 10 plus 10 is 20 uh, plus 8 is 28. You can do that if you want, but what I prefer to do is just say the numbers because anytime you use a word in your head, it slows down what you're trying to do. So the way you would say this in your head is 10, 20, 28. So you're looking and you're adding in your head and you're saying the new subtotal. So you have 10, 20, 28. That's how you would say that mentally. And as you go further, that's going to save you a lot of time. It's going to make you faster, but just like anything else, you have to practice it. Okay, here we have this problem. 9 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 1. Go ahead and pause this video and try out the answer. So what we're going to see here is we have some complements staring us in the face. We have the 1 and we have the 9. That's going to be a complement that's going to give us 10. So we're going to start at 10 and we're going to go from there. 10, 15, 18, 20. And that's going to give us 20. So we're trying not to use the word plus. That slows things down. But you know you have a 10 here. And then you have 15, 18, 20. That gives us the 20. Okay, now we're getting into some impressive problems. Here we have 7 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7 plus 9. Go ahead and pause the video and try to use complements to find the answer. Okay, now what we're going to see right away is 7 and 3 are complements, so that's going to be 10. And 9 and 1 are also complements. So that's going to be another 10. So right now, without really doing anything at all, I know I have at least 20. So now I'm going to continue. 20, 27, 31, 32, 36. So 36 is the answer. 
Again, starting at 10, then I have 20 with my complements, then 27 off the bat, that makes it easy, then 31, then 36. 36 is the answer. Okay, now this is the problem we actually open the section with. 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 3 plus 5. Go ahead and pause the video and try to find the answer. All right, so let's look at this. What we have is a bunch of complements staring us in the face. We know that 2 is a complement with 8, so that's going to give us 10 right there. We know that 7 is a complement with 3, and that's going to give us uh, another 10 right there. And then we also know that 5 is a complement with 5, and so that gives us another 10 there. So really, we've really covered all of the numbers here, except for this 4 here. So we have 10, 20, 30. 4 is the only thing left over. The answer is 34. And notice how much faster that is than doing 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 8, 8 plus 8, 7, and just keep down and down the list. It's just going to take a lot of time. Just make sure I identify the complements and go from there. Here we have our final problem, 1 plus 7 plus 3 plus 1 plus 9 plus 4 plus 2 plus 6. Go ahead and pause the video and try to find the answer. Okay, now we just scan the list as usual and try to find complements. 7 and 3 are complements, so that's 10. 1 and 9 are complements, that's 10. 4 and 6 are complements, that is 10. The only other numbers left over are the 2 and the 1, so I've got 10 here. This makes 20, this makes 30, 32, 33. 33 is the answer. So we scan for complements, we make this mental subtotal, we look at whatever we have left over and we add to that. It tremendously speeds up the process. I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com. I hope you've learned something from this. Please take some time to get a pencil and paper, write down a bunch of random problems off the top of your head and just practice it. And just like reading or just like playing an instrument or just like riding a bike, it's going to get more natural and more comfortable to you. And I guarantee you, once you can get comfortable adding these columns of numbers up, then adding a, a multi-digit number like, you know, 347 plus 159 is not going to be that difficult, but we need to crawl before we walk. So we work with these one-digit numbers, these single column numbers, and then we add two-digit numbers and three-digit numbers and getting better and better and better, all the while increasing your skills in mental math.